Simulation games, you probably know yourself, offer the widest range of experience when it comes to video games. On mobiles, you see, it even gets more crazy because you have them on the go and into the real world, literally, if you like. Here's some of the best sim games you can pick up and play right now for free on your Android and iOS devices as well. At number one, we've got maybe even the most downloaded sim game on the platform, uh, yet very easy to pick up and play the very sim city itself. For those of you new, this is a city building life sim where you create and grow prosperous as a mayor. Then decide to make roads, houses, buildings, stores, factories, get rich, collect taxes, do some strategy stuff and get even more rich. Technically speaking, it's actually the most addicting and engaging game in the list. Like, it doesn't really get any higher than this. The whole thing's about 200 megabytes in total and it's playable both online and offline. Moving on, we have Path of Titans, a game I have never mentioned before, a single player and multiplayer MMO open world RPG dinosaur life sim. This game is so huge in scale, about maybe one out of every five of you could possibly run it without an issue. It's about 4 gigabytes in total, the good thing is it's free though, developers recently promised to add modding support to the mobile version, which is kind of weird, I, I don't know, and I'm guessing you could see already, but if you don't know, you take on the life of a dinosaur in this game and you go about in a world doing quests. Uh, there's PvP fights, about 200 people fighting at the same time and lots of crazy stuff. Sitting on the Play Store with almost 10,000 downloads is a paid game, however. Taking them down about $3 only, a hefty 1GB storage. Number 3, we have Aerofly FS 2023, which is a series of offline flight sim open world games that started life back in 2019. That are actually pretty advanced in visuals and world scale. FS 23 over here is not only more worthy of a sequel in price, scale, graphics, or quality, it's also offering a much bigger part of USA. And and it's almost a bug free game in nature. Number four, we have a police officer's sim. I mean, not really, it's just a racing game, but an open world driving, flying, riding police simulator. And the game's majority is just driving, chasing, and action. But it's, you see, it's in the list here because it's the work of a really good developer, and so far, it's a really underrated game. I mean, the only thing that's down about the game is that it's a bit small in scale. Uh, here's a trailer game's free on about 100 megabytes initially. Number 5. Something really affordable no matter the kind of phone you're using. It's perhaps one of the top 5 off-road driving games of all time on phones from one of the biggest mobile game developers on the platform to a game called Off-Road Forex 4, a driving sim. It's a free-to-play kind of game to begin with, playable offline and online, and for the graphics it offers with the 200 megabytes it asks for, it's insanely well developed. The gameplay is smooth, you can go at this one with a controller and you won't even have to pay one cent. From a very well received team uh, of open world mobile specialists, Number 6, in case you missed it, we have Tokyo Commute Drive Sim with almost a million downloads and a 4.5. This game is entirely made to just feel like a fun project or a very relaxing car parkour kind of where you get to drive many different cars, customize, play with environments and items, physics, and just be amazed at how much details these developers have put into this game. The whole thing's about 400 megabytes in total. The graphically, the game feels like at least 3 gigabyte game. It's free all the way, and this is how it looks. Frankly, one of the most fun to play open world rope hero style mobile games on the entire platform. At number 7, we have Vegas Crime Sim 2. With over 10 million downloads and a 4.2 out of 5 on both platforms, this game is surprisingly about 100 megabytes in total. Even though the graphics in the game's map is way bigger than that, it's near the size of a gigabyte game. And weird enough, it's actually from an indie developer. Now, as far as content, the game is addictive, it goes really well on phones, it's the number one top 5 most downloaded games on the platform, and it's free all the way. Actually playable offline. Number 8, we have Deer Simulator, the literal number one rated free to play sim game on the Play Store since, for real, a month ago. This game is an open world adventure, 
in which case you miss a formerly PC game that's just as famous as the GOAT simulators. The best thing about this one though is you can play it offline, it's about 300 megabytes initially, tops, huge in scale, it's literally the most fun on the list because it's silly and the ads of the game are optional, actually totally playable offline. Speaking of Deer Simulator, we got over here number 9. For those of you who haven't played it so far, because it's not just Goat Simulator, it's actually the DLC Coffee Stain the publishers made possible on the Play Store a year later. You can play the Goat Simulator for free and offline if you want it on both platforms. It's both a paid and a free-to-play game with ads. Actually even more fun than Deer Simulator because it has a huge multiplayer. The DLC here is kind of a, a very accurate Star Wars reference with even more comedy, contains many levels and plenty of things to just find and have fun with. Now, here's the thing. Have you guys ever dreamed of being a chicken farmer? Uh, anyone? Well, anyway, if you have, you should without a doubt try Egg Incorporation. It's a semi-idle style farming sim, but a lot of management stuff thrown in for good. In which you just start from nothing, just an egg, then following with a coop, make some cash selling, hire a driver, make a bigger farm, a factory, and will eventually become the most successful chicken man in the world. This game is free all the way, playable offline if you want it, 100 megabytes in total, and it's really, really fun to get the hang of. Number 11, we have a very tactical ragdoll, just a kind of a cloned off of the totally accurate battle simulator. I've actually mentioned this game before. Seven more games to go, honorable mentions. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I fell. Oh, I got me. Oh, I saw something on the ceiling. Oh, I don't know. 